Okay, so we've spent two videos on React Router. We introed React Router, then I talked about the switch last time. This time I want to talk about Navlink. So Navlink is something you can use to show your active links in your site. And so I'll show you by building something. So we're going to go with the same application. It's a brilliant application, but, you know, so same application as last time and the time before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from using the link to using the nav link. And so I'm going to take that there and update these. Okay. Now let's go look at the, the site here. So uh, everything's running. Everything seems to be totally fine. We've changed from link to nav link and all's good. Now let's change something else. Let's give it a new attribute called active class name. And then we'll call that uh, you know active link. We can call it anything we want. At this point, this is just to hook up to our CSS. And so for active link, I need to give it some sort of styling. So I'm going to change the color from white to uh, yellow. Okay, hey look, there we go. It's changed from white to yellow. So that's active. And now this, act this is active. Oh no, that's horrible. They're both yellow. We'll talk about that in a second. And then this one's active, so this is showing. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute, I bet this is because of routing, because the slash will also match the slash third. And if you're thinking back to that routing video two videos ago, and even last video, you are correct, actually. So... If we go back here to the component, we can once again employ the exact attribute. And now we're back where we want to be. If you're active here, then you know the home component's showing, it's matching this route right here. And so therefore this one's highlighted, or well, it's given the class name that we gave it. And so therefore we made it yellow. And uh, so when we move to the second one, because this slash second um, matches, it, it updates that one as, as marked. And then, of course, the same for that. So uh, why wouldn't you just use nav links all the time? Well, there's actually lots of cases where you have links in your page that aren't meant to be highlighted based on where you are in the application. That's actually a really normal thing. Nav links are generally something that's only going to be the navigation. And since that's the case, um, you're usually only going to use them on main navigation components. Um, at least that's what would make sense to me. And you'll use the links elsewhere. Of course, as you've seen, we could just use regular links in the header. That works too. We've done it now for two videos. It's totally fine. All right, so that's the nav link. If you go look at the React Router documentation, uh, you'll see some things. You, you don't have to use a class name. You can also use just a uh, style object like you can with, with React objects and styles. Um, and there's a few other things that you, that you might want to know there. So feel free to take a look at that documentation. This is the, the simple and uh, most common use case right here. Just be able to apply a class name to the element when it is the uh, proper matching route. So class active link, but no class active link. But if we switch to second, well, the active link went away from the home, but was added to the second. Okay, that's nav link.